uh, Pete Newsham. I'm the chief of police for the Metropolitan Police Department. I was very happy uh, that J.C. Nall asked me uh, to be a part of Career Day. Uh, if any of you are interested in becoming a police officer, we would love to have you. Uh, being a police officer, you have the ability to help people. Uh, you get to help people when they're in, in very, very bad situations. So if you want to do it, think about it. And the best way to do it, whether or not you want to be a police officer, a firefighter, a scientist, a doctor, regardless of what you want to be, the best thing that you can do is do your homework, do your schoolwork. If you do that, you can be whatever you want to be. As a kid, we would always see the officers or the firefighters out helping people, and I just knew that is what I wanted to do. My father is a police officer, and I wanted to follow his footsteps. I started as a cadet when I was 19, and now I'm 25. Growing up in D.C., just being a person that I wanted to, throughout my journey, help people. 14, 22 hours. The bar is set really high. We're patrolling the nation's capital. She grabbed me by the hand, and she just kept holding my hand, saying, please help me, please help me. We had a child who kept running away. She just was really down on herself, and I just told her, Believe in yourself. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do it. When my mom pinned the badge on me, it was just something spectacular. The school that I patrolled was about a block away from a public housing complex. The biggest thing that I thought about was where can I take them? What can I give them? What can I do? I didn't know football like that. I wasn't a basketball player, but I knew baseball. We created a baseball program. I was able to get kids from different communities all over the environment. So at that point, I'm thinking, this might actually succeed. This might be something that's really good. We've had over 100, 200, 250 kids go through the program seven years. Numerous players that have gone through the program have gone to college. You'd think that if you didn't save this life, where could this life have ended up? And to have them come up to me and say, I'm going to college, I'm playing baseball in college, I'm playing softball in college, it's huge. It's a huge feat that I, I, I feel like I've accomplished. I kind of saw what was going around the nation and I saw there was a lot of changes being done. I thought, hey, you know, why don't I can be the change I want to see? And uh, so I joined Washington, D.C., Metropolitan Police Department. You have the power to either make the right decision or the wrong decision. It just depends upon, you know, your decision. And I think that that's an awesome responsibility and once again, humbling. These are small things that count. I feel like what really touches you is being able to impact the community in a positive light. Whenever you respond to a call and there's kids in the house, that really touches me because then I see what difference I'm really making for the future. I'm a resident here of Washington, D.C. I was born and raised in Washington, D.C. I treat people in D.C. like they're my family. When people sign up to do the same thing that I do, I, I just take my hat off because, you know, the passion is there to protect the citizens of the District of Columbia, and I'm one of those folks. And a unit to assist with the residential alarm. MPD, ma'am, do you call for help? A city like no other needs officers like no other.